Okay, so I have a bit of an issue with my app. Um, if we go to my usage for my Vercel, we'll see. I'm not over the usage limit, but I am using quite a bit. So if we go to invocations, we can see this one app that I have has 270,000 serverless function invocations. And by duration, that's 101 gigabyte hours. Roughly, I think it's like 60 or 70 hours of actual execution, which is kind of wild. Um, and I keep hitting the rate limit for Vercel or for trigger.dev. So I got a bunch of notifications today because when a bunch of events come in at once, I'm trying to call the trigger API, so I can show you that. So this is my endpoint, and the web hooks app events. So whenever a function or an event comes in, we're triggering. Where's my function? Um, Yeah, here we go. So we're basically just trying to trigger this task. So I have some back off um, here, but I'm still hitting the uh, rate limits. And so I realized I'm going to have to, like I'm planning to have multiple millions of events happening every month with my new app. So I've got to figure out how to solve this. And I don't know if they're going to, raise their rate limits for me and there's a lot of stuff I could do in Vercel edge functions without invoking a trigger.dev task which might be a little bit faster or cheaper I don't know so um, I did some calculations on the cost so essentially how it works out is for trigger.dev we have it costs twelve dollars per hour for their standard um, machine which is 0.5 CPU and 0.5 gigabytes of RAM and then there's an additional cost of this per invocation and so I get $50 of included usage and then with Vercel I have a thousand dollars of gigabyte hours included or a thousand gigabyte hours included plus a million requests included and after that it's 18 cents per one gigabyte hour which is um, the standard is 1.7 gigabytes of RAM so you just, you know, if it was an hour at 1.7 gigabytes, that would be, um, you know, 18 pint point times 1.7 cents. Then for invocations, it's about 60 cents per additional million invocations. And if we assume each task is like five seconds, um, then we did the math here and we found that with Vercel, it would be about $244 total, including each. A, um, included price and then trigger would be about a hundred and forty dollars so that's a pretty big difference um, but for is also a bigger machine I could downsize to like 0.5 CPU and then like one gigabyte of RAM um, and I think I might be able to do that so then I compared that so if both functions ran for the same amount of time but it was we use the smaller instance for Vercel, then it would be $70 for Vercel instead, so about half the price of Trigger, um, just because I think their pricing is a little bit lower at equal RAM and memory. Um, so this is how I'm going to handle it. I'm going to do a bunch of stuff in here. I mean, most of my functions, like if we come over to my logs, For this app, then we'll see. This task right here, all it does was trigger that um, function, but it took five milliseconds out of three hundred seconds max dur max duration, and it only used. I mean, basically all of these use one hundred forty megabytes. Like it's essentially nothing. And we can see if we click on this, four milliseconds, five milliseconds. 
So these are using basically zero time. And of course, it's just one API call. And I guess that API call is fast as shit. But the goal is to basically offload a bunch of the logic to Vercel edge, not edge functions, actually serverless functions, which are different. Um, but yeah, use these serverless functions to run a bunch of, bunch of the logic instead of trigger, just so that we can um, kind of reduce the usage on trigger a bit. Um, there's still a shit ton of stuff I need trigger for, but just for like quick little, you know, cause we're not running like 10, 20, a hundred API calls in this. I might run a few writes and reads to the database and a couple API calls maybe. Um, so it doesn't have to be that complex. Um, and the default max duration is 30 seconds, which is really not that much. And if, if my runs are under, you know, if my runs are, if I add a bunch of logic and this starts taking 500 milliseconds instead of five milliseconds, like that's still gonna be extremely cheap. You know, 500 milliseconds, Basically, we could ask it, what if each Vercel run was only 500 milliseconds instead of 5 seconds? And it's going to be fucking cheap as hell. I love that ChatGPT can do your math. So, it would be free, because it's included with the total amount. That would only be 138 gigabyte hours when I have 1,000 included. So... Like, it's essentially, it is free, and, yeah, dude, like, it's a way better deal. Uh, the dev experience is way worse, and the logging, but, you know, hitting rate limits is bad, um, and I got 100 errors today. Just, I have a push notification whenever I get errors. I got 100 notifications today, which is fucked, so I need to fix that, um, and I think this is the way to do that. So that's the video.